in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. One of the ways God shows you his mercy when you fail his test is to recycle that season with you again. It is better and easier than going down. Did you hear what I said? You can see this. What I'm teaching you is not error. It's programmed even through the law of life. Is that true? So if a woman is not able to take in this month, what happens? That season is recycled again. Is that true? So that it can give her a chance. It's a spiritual principle. One of the most powerful spiritual words is the word again. And Adam knew his wife again. And the man who fell rose again. And the one who could not pray yesterday after many years now started praying again. Again captures hope. It means what I was not yesterday or what I was yesterday that I lost. I can have it back. Priesthood. I think I'll just stop here so that we'll talk about the king dimension. If not, we'll not leave this place this night. I have to be fair on you. You see, sometimes this teaching, and let me submit to you truly. The matters of the spirit require time on. No matter how careful you are, it is line upon line. Are you seeing why when Jesus resurrected, ah, Jesus, you are up, say, keep quiet. Let's go back to our, I'll finish our lecture. In 50 days, the Holy Ghost is coming. You are not even prepared yet. There are still some things. Jesus himself was out of time. And he said, look, for the next 40 days, he did not spend time celebrating his resurrection. He returned quickly from heaven after that coronation service. What a visionary God. How do you triumph over death, sin and the grave, and you don't even have time to celebrate that victory? You come down quickly and gather the 120. 40 days of lecture. And he says, guys, I know I'm done. You tarry 10 more days and the Holy Spirit is coming. Look at the fruit of that mentorship. There are many lessons we can teach from scripture. One of it is the error of over celebrating every level. No. When you pat yourself at the back, it suffices for that time and you get to walk. We look unto Jesus and we learn that lesson. Are we together? I have listened to yesterday's teaching that I preached here and the session in the morning. Before I sleep tonight, no matter how late I sleep, I must listen to this teaching tonight. It's a discipline. I'm bound by a covenant. So you keep being lazy like this and you say, God, open doors for me. You are not going anywhere. It's God that will stop you as an act of his mercy. Because how do you mentor nations and kings with that kind of laziness? Let's talk about kings forgive me eh? another time we'll finish because this priesthood is like mass 101 then there's 201 of it you understand what i'm saying so aha so forgive me let's just end this one where we are let's talk about kings now please look up when you study the book of the beginnings because theologically speaking every time you want to study a subject in the bible you go to the book of the beginnings and you begin to study what we call in theology the law of first mention. You look for where that word was used first and you study the context with which it was used. That becomes your compass every time you are studying that thought. The key to interpreting the Bible is number one, to start with literal interpretation. If it does not add up, 
then it means that you must use two or three witnesses other scriptures to now bring it to context if it does not then you need the agency of the spirit to now draw out its prophetic meaning are we together now so when we go to the bible we see that something happened the first man who was created in the image and the likeness of god we call him adam i hope you know by now he was not the first man but he was the first man who was made in the image and the likeness of God. There were other humanoid species before the arrival of Adam. That's for sure. The Garden of Eden was not created for Adam alone. The first occupant of that Garden of Eden was Lucifer himself. You read your Bible. That was in Eden, the Garden of the Lord. Is that true? Until iniquity was found in you. So Lucifer's vendetta with Adam was justifiable. <laughs> How do you come to occupy some? No. When you understand this, you will understand the parable of the talents. There are many parables in the Bible that were not just stories. They were adumbrations of old things that happened. The Bible tells us that Satan was not just a liar but was a murderer. My question is who did he kill that you know? That record is not captured in Genesis. That means there is an old story somewhere. No wonder he's called the old serpent. Jesus did not just call him a liar. He called him a murderer. A murderer means you make someone die. I'm laughing at myself. Goodness. May the Lord grant us grace. In the name of Jesus. To God be the glory, yeah? This is not just a man of God dishing out revelation. Remember, the focus is on Jesus. Anything that he has done through us is that the excellency of power might be of God and not of us. Are we together? So the Bible tells us that Adam and Eve, now, there is still a theological debate today as to the paternity of the man Cain and Abel. Because Adam and Eve, as far as we know, all through the lifetime of their stay, we do not see anything in them that looks like a conscious deviation from their love for God. They disobeyed and they fell. But we do not see that action. So where then did Cain come with the manifestation of another spirit? And Paul, when mentoring the Roman church, began to speak about the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh. Is that true? He said, in my body, I see two members walking. So that the things I want to do, I do not find myself doing them. The things I do not want to do, you know, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? He began to give that exegesis about the spirit life and even that of the flesh. And we know from scripture that Cain was older than Abel. So, the Bible lets us know that in a matter of time, Cain came and then Abel came. Whether they were twins from the same womb, because the next time the Bible will say Adam knew his wife, it was Seth that came. So there is still a theological debate whether they were twins or whatever, but that's not the issue. We then see that there were manifestations of two spirits in Cain and Abel. Are we together now? When it had to do with priesthood, Abel mastered the art of the altar, but Cain did not. Cain fell. He fell there and was angry killed his brother Cain. Are we together? Look at the power of priesthood that even when Abel died, the altar was still speaking. The blood itself spoke and God had to honor it and called Cain and said, Cain, what is this? And Cain would not even repent. Am I my brother's keeper? Why are you asking me that kind of question? And he said, okay, because of this, there's a consequence you'll be cursed and everybody who sees you will kill you and Cain said, uh-uh. I know something about you you are merciful let me tap into your mercy this is too much for me and he said all right i will put a mark upon you you will be a fugitive you'll be a vagabond but no one will kill you watch this he failed in the test of priesthood but the moment Cain departed from the presence of the lord the first thing he did was to start building a city the bible says he built a city and named it after his son enoch not the enoch we know his son that means even if i am not here that agenda must continue are we together now every time you see building cities every
every time you see dominion over the cosmos it was the children of the born woman and it was the hedonistic people for some reason believers had mastered priesthood but that king dimension we have not understood it so our relationship with jesus is flourishing but the advancement of kingdom come has continued to suffer through the ages look at egypt egypt was not a place that honored god look at babylon babylon was not a place that honored god look at nineveh nineveh was not a place that honored god look at rome rome was not a place that honored god are you seeing now everywhere there was dominion it seemed like they pushed god out of the system this is what god wants to correct because that error is still happening till today there are many believers after praying and fasting we do not know how to take over so one person by take over i don't mean this blind concept of take over that people believe that one day they, you know they would take over the buildings when the bible speaks it speaks in a spiritual sense not a carnal sense are we together now take over does not mean take over buildings physical monuments it means to influence the cosmos with the ideology of the kingdom because the buildings will come and fade away God is not interested in the physical structures alone he's interested in the men because everything will be will be burned with fire is it not in your Bible now hear me please seated in this place right now are vibrant people who love Jesus is that true seated in this place today are prayer warriors and fasting giants but also seated in this place are people who have been without jobs for many years seated in this place are people who have lost their jobs because they stood for Jesus seated in this place are people who do not have access to government access to systems of power and it has become detrimental to the growth of the church please hear me there are many people who do not understand the aspect of dominion that has to do with that king dimension so the Bible says you are a chosen generation is that in your Bible that's first Peter 2 and verse 9 I believe a royal priesthood and holy nation he called us a peculiar people he said we have been called out of darkness into we have been called to show forth the praises of him that has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light there is an expectation God has for the church in Nigeria the church in the east of the Niger the church in Enugu state there must be that dual excellence of priesthood and kingship if we miss it just like I balanced the word and prayer yesterday are we together now now here's the mistake we have made as men of God respectfully speaking because of the excellency of our call we have dwelt in the area of priesthood and we have trained the body of believers to be excellent priests but we have ignored the fact that they are not priests alone to the point that the average believer now who the holy ghost starts telling him remember you are a king too he conceives it as carnality and an interruption to his priesthood so he says no don't talk about money don't talk about influence just leave me with my prayer and fasting and that may be wonderful except that when darkness comes you will become a slave forever the purposes of God has suffered there are many great men of God today who cannot afford land because the devil knows that once he gives you territory territory will give room for more and he will fight so we are praying in church while policies have been manipulated that frustrates the program of God and we think the answer is just to pray we have done this for elections it did not work we have done this for our lives it did not work because priesthood alone does not produce the results it is king and priest are we together king and priest let me share with you a thought or two and then we'll pray so the Bible tells us that we have been made stewards of this part of God's kingdom in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 the Bible says and God made man Elohim said let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over 
the birds of the air when you see birds of the air and the fish it's not talking about the animals it's talking about the realms are we together it's just an expression when he said the birds of the air it does not mean birds <clears throat> it just means the realm of the air the realm of the sea the realm of land so it's important for us to understand the jurisdiction of our dominion that means anything that happens within that sphere you have a right to be part of it are we together from a scientific standpoint we have mastered the air we have supersonic jets we have all kinds of things that we have drone systems that can go I was discussing with my people was it yesterday or day before yesterday about drones that can be 65,000 feet above sea level and their camera can zoom with precision even to your toilet can you imagine that kind of thing that's how much man has conquered now we're exploring other planets because it's within the scope of our dominion that's why we have the power to do it Babel was built without the assistance of the Holy Spirit it was the power of man that built Babel and yet it was built to the point that only God destroyed it so don't be surprised if hedonistic nations have been built they are using the dominion power that was given man but hear me believers we have not been taught the concept of kingdom advance the average believer does not understand kingdom advance when you begin to understand the kingdom and how to advance the kingdom listen carefully I submit to you that most of the teachings on the kingdom have not been balanced most of the teaching on the kingdom stops at priesthood but it does not extend to that kingly dimension so when Jesus was mentoring the disciples who would later become apostles he started in Matthew chapter 5 in what we call the Beatitudes is that true when he taught them he now got to a point where he now started teaching them the wisdom of walking in the cosmos and here's what he said behold I send you as sheep among wolves therefore be wise as serpents oh 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 Jesus is talking about a serpent a serpent has never been used except for the rod the serpent that was raised the brazen altar that they would look and leave now he's saying borrow something from the wisdom of the serpent and understand that everything that surrounds you as the believer they are wolves have you ever seen a wolf discussing with a sheep when a wolf sees a sheep it eats it up that means there is a technology we must download from heaven that becomes our weapon of survival if we are to walk in dominion now there are a few people in the bible who survived they penetrated systems and structures and they enthroned christ institutionally the first of them that we record in the bible please look up the first of them that we record in the bible was the man joseph the Bible talks about Egypt. You know, Egypt was a place of wizardry, but it was also a place of plenty. Joseph finds his way to Egypt and then becomes the prime minister by a technology that we must understand if we are going to walk in dominion. It took more than prayer for Joseph to go there. Joseph prayed to get to the palace, but when he got to the palace, he did not pray there now there was a place of creativity and intelligence albeit by the spirit but in the presence of the king it was not prayer he prayed the prayer was to prepare him to get to the king god supported his arrival there by shutting the heavens over the sorcerers so that they would check and not be able to interpret the king's dream and here comes joseph the king sent for joseph it was up to Joseph now if he had prepared when he stood there the king said this is my dream seven cows seven lean cows seven ears of corn well nourished the poor ones and he said oh king let me give you your interpretation the Lord will give Pharaoh an answer of peace Pharaoh right this is competence at work now are we together and he said oh king what you saw is seven years of plenty that will be followed by seven years of famine and then when he was done that was not the answer he said now let me give you a recommendation 
he didn't say i am i am a child of yahweh so he didn't need to do that the light in him was showing and he said oh king save 20 percent of your produce for that 70 years economic solutions and as soon as he gave that the king looked do you know what joseph said he said king search for a man discreet and wise it was a diplomatic way to say i dare you check the entire egypt if you will find a man with that dual combination of the intelligence of priesthood and then who knows how to perform his kingly duty please sit down and the king said for as much as god has shown you this there is no man who i don't care where you are coming from i don't care what tribe you are you have answered the king competence will veto your background competence will veto the limitations of status quo many believers give excuses but i am praying why am i not being promoted you are an excellent priest but your job is looking for the king not just the priest are you seeing where we have failed and it is the assignment of the men and women of god to holistically mentor the body of christ on one hand to be excellent as far as our priesthood is concerned but not to leave us there the purpose of priesthood is to help you access the resources that makes for your excelling but when they arrive you take on your priestly regalia and dress like the king that you are and begin to demonstrate the intelligence of the kingdom are we together so joseph profess an economic solution and three things happen to him as once the king said i am pharaoh and except on the throne that i'll be higher than you but as far as the matters of administration over egypt is concerned you are lord immediately he was given a wife without struggling and they brought to him the wife of Potiphar, the priest of on they gave him a new name they dressed him with a royal regalia in 24 hours the lifting power of kingship if you understand your place as a king that is dominion now watch this when joseph got there under his watch he preserved the people of god that was the purpose of his arrival there until he died and there was another pharaoh who knew no joseph hear what he said he said when you are leaving egypt carry my bones do you know what he was saying carry this formula it's not just carry my physical bones there is a structure when you leave egypt don't live without learn the lesson you were not there it's now 430 years but when you are living remember that as you sojourn do not be priests alone be priests and kings watch this sit down sit down so when they were living they did not just live with the god of heaven god gave them gold gave them resources it was for a reason because they were going to build him a tabernacle in the wilderness is that true but the devil quickly came and manipulated aaron and all of them and they built a, a, an image and said you are the one who brought us out and they landed themselves into trouble do you notice that the people of god continue to move like fugitives they never had a place of their own have you noticed that all through the Bible? That the nation of Israel kept struggling because they do not do well as kings. They conquered lands, but they could not exact dominion. That dominion aspect did not seem to work until a man arose called David. We'll leave that for another day. You would see that from the arrival of David until the ark was taken away, Israel now found that oh, uh, you will now know why he's called the lion of the tribe of Judah. Do you know he's both lion and lamb? When you talk of lamb, you talk of priesthood. But when you talk of lion, you talk of the king. Are we together now? So if your theology is just the lamb alone, the lamb was slain as a sacrifice, but the lion lives of the tribe of Judah when blind Bartimaeus wanted to be healed he did not say Jesus help me he said thou son of David and Jesus had that and he said from a blind man who taught you 
why did you call David thou son of David and he said what do you want now you are calling for dominion that my sight will be open and he said that's it it's done believers hear me it is possible for God's people to live like fugitives within a land no house no influence no believers in the place of government because we are not taught the only thing for many believers that we know is prayer and Bible study and fasting and there is nothing wrong with that that is priesthood but the intelligence of living in the cosmos most believers do not know and the key listen to me the key to kingdom advance is that kingly dimension in partnership with that priestly dimension it was always king priest prophet this was a tripartite formation every time there is a corruption in that pattern there will be spiritual consequences so if I say show me the priests in Enugu I will see many of you prayer warriors and word giants men and women of God but if I say show me the kings there will be few people who are standing that is the reason why men of God out of pressure they do well as priests but there's no money to pay the bills and they are now tempted to compromise and manipulate because a man of honor who does not know the Bible says will die like a beast in the field even though he's a man of honor are we together now in Psalm 5 he said what is man that thou art mindful of he says you have put all things under his feet so that is honor but if that man does not know being a king in the kingdom is knowledge dependent everybody say knowledge your kingly dimension is released through knowledge the Bible says they know not Psalm 82 and verse 5 neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes today Jesus is called king of kings the question is who are the other kings it's not the royal fathers king of kings it's in your Bible Revelation chapter 11 I think verse 15 and the seventh angel sounded the trumpet and there were voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our God and of we his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever Emmanuel God is with us and he shall reign he shall reign he shall reign forever hallelujah the Bible says in Luke chapter 16 when you read from verse 1 to 8 Jesus was speaking about a parable and he made a very interesting statement in verse 8 I believe he said the children of this world are wiser than the children of the kingdom why would Jesus make such a statement he said I have studied the children of the kingdom I've seen the absence of the intelligence that makes for dominion I do not see that dominion component but I see priesthood hear me there is a clarion call upon the body of Christ to continue to excel as priests like we have done but there is a there is a desperate need for structured mentorship in the area of dominion by understanding kingdom and the principles that make for kingdom advance and please hear me the key to dominion in the cosmos is influence influence is the ability to make men buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty are we together to advance the kingdom of God we need evangelism but we need influence evangelism enthrones Christ in the hearts of men but influence enthrones the ideology the value system of the kingdom across a strata Today we honor great brands when we say Coca-Cola, when we say this, when we say that. You see several people, listen carefully, several people will come and buy that product. Coca-Cola, they are buying logos and they are buying names because of the power of influence. If we are going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom, it will not just happen through priesthood alone. 
we must incorporate in addition to priesthood the influence that comes by being kings that way the kingdoms of this world indeed will become the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ now when the governor in a state like yours becomes a child of God and the members of parliament become Christians like Daniel are you seeing that now Daniel was a king and he reigned through the dispensation of three kings I wish I had the time I would have shown you one person who demonstrated it classically was the man Daniel his priesthood was there in place when Satan knew that he was excelling through his priesthood he gave a decree that there would be no prayer for 30 days and Daniel said no way the reason why I am effective as a king is because of the strength of my priesthood he opened the window towards Jerusalem why towards Jerusalem remember the covenant of David when they were dedicating the temple he says whoever faces here he could not take a chance just depending on his faith and his belief alone he had to tap into a covenant system that will guarantee God showing up for him and he opened the window towards Jerusalem and he prayed when they caught him they took him to the lion's den that is the power of priesthood it preserves you even when you are king they threw him in the lion in the lion's den and angels came and surrounded him when he came out safe they promoted him kings and priests you are a man of God but don't forget you are a banker too when you get to the bank it is not just prayer your prayer is done in your secret place you receive intelligence from the prayer and validate it through your banking excellence are we together now you are a construction engineer you are a prayer warrior and a fasting giant i agree but i need to see it translated into products and services that can better the lives of people you now justify the, the validity of your intimacy with a higher power that is not human. Many believers are poor in demonstrating the power of God. Not just in terms of miracle signs and wonders, but in terms of excellence. The level of transformation that comes. When Jesus was speaking, they looked at him and said, what manner of man is this? What wisdom is this? When you read Proverbs chapter 8, he spoke about wisdom from verse 8 down to 16. He said, by me kings reign and princes decree justice. He says, with me are riches, wealth and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. That they that love me, you know, and, and he began to give the excellency of wisdom. He said, I was there when God founded the earth. Wisdom personified. One of the indices that help men to stand in their dominion is wisdom. Another is value and productivity. Are we together? now unbelievers have ignored priesthood as far as authentic priesthood to honor jesus the christ is concerned but they have mastered the art of building cities they build businesses they build empires they build our houses they build our clothes and every money that comes we carry it to them every money that comes we carry it to them and the law is that the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender and so one person can check and see that God is doing something well in Enugu and pass just one policy that frustrates the purposes of God and there is nobody in parliament to defend the interests of the kingdom kings must arise did you hear what I said kings must arise he is both lion and lamb he is not lamb alone most of us have stayed long enough in that lamb dimension in addition to it we must be lions I made up my mind as a man of God that I will never mentor a people to just be excellent in priesthood alone I believe in the power of influence I was told yesterday and I pray he does not get embarrassed that the owner of this beautiful facility is this man who is sitting down here and I had the honor to meet him yesterday and I said this is dominion you see that we honor him for it I, I i do not know him i just met him yesterday the reason why we are able to gather in a comfortable place like this is somebody in the place of prayer tapped into the grace for favor and used it to do something physical 
God, who is a spiritual God, produced an earth that is physical. So, the spiritual treasures you are receiving, turn it into something physical. Lives that are changed, hospitals that are built, transform society. Are we together? When your priesthood turns sinners to saints, prostitutes to saints, when through your priesthood you come up with a scholarship program that gives 1,000 Enugu citizens um, a scholarship to go to school, now you are both king and priest. The government will call you and say, let's sit down. You look like somebody who is interested in the development of the place. When they say, let's talk, you say, hold on, let me pray. They say, why? You say, that is what gave me the wisdom for me to be here. When you see non-believers, before they start any meeting, they don't care who is there. They will pray and do whatever. Remember, you need them. You will endure the painful prayer while they are talking to their God. Because the results that have come through that thing is there to show. Can I tell you the truth? Our Christianity will remain a mockery to society if we remain as priests alone. We must be able to translate that. Imagine the construction engineers, the best construction engineers in Enugu, tongue-talking, fiery believers that when they give you a contract, you do something and sign the signature of his majesty on that work. After 30 years, it is still standing. And they ask you one day, how did this happen? And you lift your hands to heaven and you tell them this is the one who is deserving of praise. You will win more souls by that declaration than even a crusade ground. You've heard me say it many times. Imagine that Michael Jackson said, I love you, Jesus. Even if it's by mistake, there would have been more souls won. Look at these influencers and these celebrities having several people. And somebody can, after praying and fasting, somebody will influence your child with one five minutes video that will take you one year of prayers to remove that spirit out of you. Is someone learning? Look at the kind of schools our children are going to now. Little children, by the time they are eight, nine years, they are already sexually active. They are teaching them all kinds of things. But you don't like what they are teaching, but that's what your money can afford. So you enjoy it and keep rehabilitating the child till it becomes a demon. Satan knows this, and he will make sure economic power does not reach the church, political power. Does to help me understand this was a man who was a man of God led about the largest church in Bahamas and was advisor to about 16 presidents wrote almost 40 books in his lifetime and more than 90% of them were bestsellers these were people who got when Nelson Mandela watch this when Nelson Mandela came out of prison it was him and one other person that were the delegates that were sent to go and greet him. He was a diplomat. He was an institution. Bahamas guarded him territorially. Don't say it does not matter. If not, one day you will sit down and hear within your land. Somebody will tell you from today, no more church service. Keep praying in your house, but no more church service. Somebody shout, God forbid. It is not the priests that make the physical laws. It is the kings. The purposes of God was threatened by one policy signed in Babylon. Let there be no prayer for 30 days. What happened in the lockdown? Nobody consulted with you. They didn't say, is it your opinion? You were minding your business preparing for a conference. Suddenly a policy came politically. Whether it affected you or not is none of their business. That means one day somebody can come and say from today, do not give more than two plots of land to the church. Maximum two plots of land. No more campgrounds, no more large conventions. And somebody can come and put a policy and say once it's six o'clock on the dot, no gathering again, return home. You can argue there. I don't mean to be political, but look what is happening in this era around. That is already a lesson and a warning to us. Let's use 10 minutes to do a miracle service. Please rise up on your feet. You are 
the covenant keeping God you are the covenant keeping God Yahweh Yahweh the covenant keeping God Yahweh Sing it one more time. You are you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Father, I'm ready to take my position as a priest and as a king. Go ahead and pray. As a priest and as a king. 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 In touch with the realm of the spirit in touch with spiritual realities but translating that power and those spiritual resources manifesting them through the wisdom of the spirit creativity value productivity influence across the cosmos influencing the minds of a generation to love jesus to honor him to serve him to better the lives of mankind. Someone pray. Hallelujah. Now look at me please. There are some of you by reason of this conference. You will go tomorrow or next week. And go and register a company in corporate affairs. I have prayed. I have fasted. I'm I have a note full of visions. Now when God gives you the green light, it's time to start translating those things. God has told you that you are going to be helping children put your first 100,000 on ground and say how many children can this help? It can provide school fees for three children, no problem. That's a good start. Start from there. When you go to the school and bless them, by the next time they will call you, a time will come you go to get a visa they look at you let me tell you something hilarious that happened um, I'm in Kenya next week for a mighty apostolic meeting with them and did you know when uh, um, my passport was submitted for a visa they called me they called me at the consular office rejoicing and said thank God you are coming to our nation very quickly please go this is visa the office the people stamping the visa when they saw it they were rejoicing that one is not priesthood again that is kingship dominion i don't know whether they are christians or muslims you see when the king sends for you it is because he has seen something at work in your life this is what we are talking about i hope you i hope you know that i'm not this this is not some bragging or whatever it is no no don't entertain remaining small and giving flimsy excuses and saying no oh, this and that no Jesus came in a manger he came for a reason when John saw him he did not see the baby he saw he saw the glorified Christ are we together I'm saying this because part of the graces you must receive tonight is that grace that will empower you to begin to demonstrate the wisdom the creativity the power of jesus there are some of you who will build schools in enugu state that by this time next year when we come we'll see that you have some of the best schools bottled water company products that will be exported and before you release the products you will lay hands and pray somebody will drink your water and says i don't know what happened but I took a bottle of water I'm taking this in London now what happened the cancer is gone now that is priesthood demonstrated 
hear me for as long as we keep falling down and standing up in church satan does not mind but the moment it is time to go out aha he knows that the damage is outside the church to the kingdom of darkness hear me let us pray and fast and do whatever but when you are done know that you are not a priest alone are we together please look at me there are many of you today it is because you are doing priesthood alone that's why your family has not acknowledged the hand of God in your life you have been a priest for many years you have refused to be a king the quality of their lives have not changed through your conviction you have confessed Jesus as Lord you are saying all kinds of things the person taking care of mama is your stubborn unbelieving brother the person building the family house is your stubborn unbelieving brother the person with the influence who helps you sometimes you call him and say ah my brother I am praying can you help me we are in trouble I'm asking God for help he says how much 500,000 he says stop pray on something else and does the transfer for you and that indictment on the kingdom you may think it does not matter hallelujah whoever makes a contribution within a territory is the one who will have ears of those in power not whoever prays whoever makes a contribution are we together that they call you in and you can see the listen i'm not just a businessman i am a man of god he says really and you can tell him i have seen that in the next three years there will be an attack on this correct it and you do everything and come out wearing your suit that's how terror is dressed they are priests and they are kings. They will wear their suits, but they are demonic people. They move around you, but they are demonic people. When it's time to execute, they remove it and say, I am not a sheep, I am a wolf. But they wear a sheep's clothing so that they can accept them around. Are we together? Your job is your wolf clothing that you are wearing. The only way to live among wolves is to dress like a wolf, not for compromise. You are dressing like a wolf to grant you access to acceptance. There are some of you, your assignment demands you having a PhD. Get ready to go and continue and stretch it through. Because the kinds of people you will be speaking to, the least of them is highly intelligent. You will not just carry prayer and go there. They will send you out. There is a protocol to the palace. It is competence that unlocks the door. Are we together? Now, this is the mistake that sometimes we make as men of God. We give people only the template of priesthood. So you find out that they keep praying, praying alone and time is going. And they don't develop other aspects of their lives that empower them to reign. So after 10 years, they've wasted the time that they should have used doing something else. You can pray and still prepare for your kingship. All will go together. In China today, children like this my little son here they are the ones designing the products that are changing the world so they write chinese they don't care whether you speak english or not you must learn their language if you need their products imagine designing a software that sings a worship song before it ends. it does not matter who you are if you must use my product you must hear that 10 seconds worship this is what i believe oh, that the church is rising are we together Thank God for what we have done as priests. But I'm praying that more of this, God will put people to raise this in Enugu State. Are we together? That the largest companies and conglomerates within Enugu State will be by not just Christians in talk, genuine people who fear God. That you can see a CEO who is a billionaire rolling on the ground before God and do you know because of that all his business partners will roll too who say if rolling is what brought this man to this place i better roll that is influence hallelujah praise the name of the lord if you want to invite many people to this auditorium in enugu now you don't need to invite them one by one just invite the governor in his capacity as governor there are many people who are invited by force. Is that true? That is the power of influence. 
a day will come you will say Jesus is Lord and you will hear nations will echo back Jesus is Lord because of something you have carried this is evangelism to influence the dominion power of the kingdom at work in you you tell darkness stop over nations and it will stay Israel remained fugitives for a long time until King David arrived and he said no this this priest 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 thing we have to bring that structure and dominion and they built God a temple they built God a lot of things they were prosper prosperity happened so much David wanted to build God a temple and God said no you have shed too much blood the people were so happy and he gathered the materials for his son Solomon but Solomon lost it Solomon remained a king but he lost touch with priesthood and by the time we read Ecclesiastes there is a problem he's lost everything he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes as a fallen backslidden man hear me there are many kings that we need to reconnect them back to priesthood because they are kings they are in positions of influence but they do not fear God there are celebrities from Nigeria going around the world doing great things sadly it is not to honor Jesus but look the level of influence I don't know about you but I've made up my mind that for as long as I'm alive that king and priest dimension we will mentor kings and we will mentor nations we will bring them to the foot of the cross we will stand and let them know that Jesus is Lord a day will come the presidents of nations through our lives will stand publicly and speak over nations and say Jesus is Lord and I will not be silent I will always worship you as long as I want you to submit your prayer request now if you are if you are yet to write your prayer request let me just give you a minute or two please feel free go ahead and write it and let's trust the God of wonders to help us within the time that we have just spare me a few more minutes and we're done thank you Jesus while you are writing can we just pray in the spirit when you write just pass it to anybody by the left or right and then let's have ushers to quickly collect it is someone praying something is happening something is happening it is for the kingdom who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever amen over the southeast thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen southeast let's prophesy together amen 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 Amen, 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 amen. Hey, amen, 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 amen. 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 Let revival come. Let technological advancement come. Let growth and increase come. Let the dominion of the saints happen even in this land. Prophesy over your family. Let it be so. 
theologically, ministerially. Amen. Listen, we are still going to say this amen. It is a prophetic word. This is a miracle service already. Hear me. As you are saying amen, you are saying amen in Enugu, Anambra State. You are mentioned every family. Lord, let the glory of the East arise like a man who has walked on a trophy. Are you ready now? Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hey, amen. Emergence of prayer warriors to an emergence of giants in the spirit to an emergence of men and women captains of industry priests and kings go ahead and turn it into a prayer lord we allow that emergence let there be an emergence from the east of the niger man of fire man of power man of the spirit custodians of the mysteries of heaven Ministerially, let the east arise in the name of Jesus. Politically, let the east arise. Economically, let the east arise. That is our prophecy. Go ahead and pray. Submit your request while we pray. Let the men and the women of God upon this land experience revival, salvation, fire, even by the Spirit. Let every home in Enugu State, let every home in the Southeast experience the blessed fire. And to this we declare again, Amen. Hey. Amen, 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 Amen. and a grace and telling them I returned from a conference all the barren women in this family wombs a father and their wombs will open at once you are bringing to bear the power of priesthood that destinies that have been tied down they are loosed by the power of the spirit hallelujah hear me Hear me. Hear me. A time will come. You will get up in the morning and just see the dead bodies of terrorists. Who killed them? Nobody can tell. But one of them will say, We saw men look like angels who descended with hailstones. We had the prayer of priests within the land declaring that terrorism will not find expression around our borders. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. You are this King of glory.
the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle Amen enough is enough it's a new season for me it's a new season for the ministry committed to me it's a new season for my children is there a priest here who is declaring it's a new season fresh anointing fresh grace oh amen to the grace for revival hallelujah 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 now this is going to be a very quick walk i'm satisfied with what god has done let me just minister we may not have the time sadly to prophesy and speak but i'll just minister deliverance pray for healing and just release that grace for impartation and that will be the end of it usually when we have meetings like this as led of the spirit i think we may still have the time to do it even if it's one minute just representing the fathers i'll plead with our father um that your nubogu and our father reverend jonathan yes once once it is time we invite them to come and they will stand representing the fathers of the land and they will speak one more time to the gates of the east and declare by the spirit that it will part hither and thither and let the king of glory come in in the name of jesus christ now i pray for you we're going to do it very fast the power of god is going to be coming on people right now bringing deliverance please whether you are an usher or not as soon as the power of god comes on them i want you to bring them out and let me pray for them very quickly we have to do this very fast there are people who have been oppressed by the powers of darkness already the power of god is coming on many i declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside and outside and as you shout that name that is above all names some of you are standing for yourself but in the name of jesus we come by the rod of a higher priesthood that an end comes to this demonic captivity for the bible says where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty in the name of jesus are you ready father let there be a demonstration of the excellent power of the kingdom over principalities and powers yokes and curses right now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i command altars leave now now by the power of the holy ghost please bring them out very quickly i decree and declare covenants yokes enchantments activities of witchcraft tying down families tying down destinies be released now 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 be released now be released now please bring them out very quickly whether you are an usher or not just help those under the anointing be released now the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us i'm still praying that fire is falling every destiny that has been tied be released now be released now be released now oh my help has come oh come oh, oh, oh my rising has come oh, oh, oh my rising has come I Ah, 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 ah. Ebenezer, my help has 
house. We are praying. Now hear me. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing doors that have refused to open over families. I'm about to pray. Every family here that has been under closed doors. My God, by the fire, I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. Right now, at the count of three, bring them out. Those doors open now. Open now. Open now. By the force of the Spirit. Doors open now. Lift up your heads. All ye gates be lifted, all ye ancient doors. Doors that have kept people bound. Doors that have kept graces bound. Salagada Bratekes Kodabalata, Embra Kates Kadabrakatosekate. Be lifted, be lifted, ancient doors. Be lifted. We call upon He who has the key of David, and by that key we command every closed door, a fata, be opened now by the mystery of the key of David. That door be opened now. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me. The spirit of delay that has sat on destinies. No going forward. The Bible says now Jericho was shot. Nothing came in and nothing came out. I decree and declare everyone who is in that bondage of delay. Right now I call upon the God of Jeshurun. The one who rides upon the wings of the wind. In the name of Jesus. Be delivered now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Oh, holy, oh, holy, blessed is he who comes. In the name of our God, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. The spirit of untimely death, any family that has been losing people, every year someone must die in the name of Jesus right now anywhere you are the spirit of death be free from it now inside outside following online be free from the influence of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory I bring you liberty by the spirit of God hear me anyone called barren by this time next year return with miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ and for all of you who are in front here in the name of Jesus the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions therefore Satan I command let God's people go now in the name of Jesus go go out of them now in the name of Jesus release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit let me prophesy to someone everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you hey everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen i'm not singing i'm prophesying to your destiny everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen as i prophesy start naming them everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen ah. is turning things around yeah. is turning things around that's someone's testimony this night one more time we're going to sing it are you ready now is turning things around is turning things around Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to begin to declare. Father, everything I have dropped here, I will never have to write it again. The only thing I will pick from this altar is my strange and speedy testimony. Someone open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray. Like Paul, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is someone praying? He says, be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4 and verse 6. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he said, let your request be made known unto God. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as I pray I want you to shout a believing amen everything you have dropped here as surely as the Lord lives for some of you between now and the next three months we command speedy answers speedy answers in the name of Jesus Every door that needs to be opened for this request to turn to testimonies we open that door right now yeah. hear me everything written here that symbolizes shame and reproach may my God wipe your tears speedily and anyone who says over his dead body for you to see your faithfulness of God the ground will open and swallow them In the name of Jesus I stand upon this request prophetically everything that has stood above you causing you pain and shame we bring it under the feet of Jesus and we bring it under your feet in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now very quickly while we allow our fathers to just gently come up I want you to lay your hands anywhere you are trusting God for healing of your body no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one Jesus there is no one else like you no one Jesus there is no one Darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no one else like you, for you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you in 
the name of Jesus, please lay your hands there very quickly. I decree and declare right now, the spirit that is back of any and every infirmity within this auditorium and outside, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I declare be free now. Shout a loud amen, be free now. Every sickness that has plagued your body, I bring you healing from the throne now. Amen. Blood conditions be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. Eye conditions be healed now. Terminal diseases be healed now. HIV be healed now. Cancer be healed now. High blood pressure be healed now. Back infirmities be healed now. Peptic ulcer be healed now. Heart palpitations be healed now. Whether I mention your case or not, every infirmity that has not been planted by my father and your father, I bring you the healing stream that flows from Calvary. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone sick, I command that sickness to go now. Every disease and every infirmity in the name of Jesus be healed. For you and for your loved ones who are far from here, may the angel of his presence touch them right where they are. For in Jesus name we pray. Now please listen. Look up. The Bible says, if anyone is sick, and anyone is afflicted it does not just mean bodily affliction that every time there is turbulence around your life among the many strategy the Bible advises is let him call on the elders is that in your Bible that the elders have an authority that has recognition even in heaven age is a factor that the realm of the spirit respects especially they who have excelled in word and doctrine they are worthy of double honor there is a reason why i request the fathers to come and speak i am a product of the blessings of fathers in this nation across africa and around the world you have heard me say i'm a product of many anointings it is true now listen please whether you are inside or outside here is your chance to receive something our daddy by the grace of god is 83 turning 84 i don't know how many of you are 84 years here who is standing hallelujah this is one of the oldest Amen. man of God in Nigeria now when an 84 year old man who has walked with God alongside our fathers here speak over your life it takes lack of wisdom to ignore it are we together they are going to, whether they pray in Hebrew, whether they pray in English, the most important thing is for your spirit to be open. For someone by this prophecy, untimely death, as you are hearing it because you are honoring the grace, you will experience it. So, I don't know how it's going to happen. Okay. I'm told the senior special advisor to the governor is here. It's a bishop. Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless you. So now, at least we are covered. We have people who will speak on behalf of the government. Are you ready now? Now, what will happen is we'll pass the mic to them one by one. Let us just open our spirit. In a minute or two, they will just speak over our land. They will speak over Enugu state and speak over the east of the Niger prophetically i like you to bring your families your ministry your business by faith and connect to receive and for those who are following online you may be of, of the Igbo nation Igbo state across the globe or you may be someone who is just connected to the conference here's your chance to connect to prophecy prophecy that is coming from veterans of the gospel with an experience with god and who have had dominion over time i pray that your heart will be open in jesus name Yes, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mighty Father, we are so grateful 
But before now, in Southeast, you know everything. Before now, you have planned, you, met, you have made a mark that the enemy cannot erase. We thank you for your, for, for your servant you have brought to us. It's not coincidental, but you planned it. That in this time, they will bring the word that will prepare us in this southeast. Therefore, I stand in your name, Lord, on the platform of what we have heard from your servant. I ask that your glory will come down, Lord, and mesmerize all the plans that enemy has created, everything that enemy has made, the marks they have made, in this south east, we command them annulled in the name of Jesus Christ. Great I am, I am that I am. I stand in your name. I summon the north gate. I summon the east gate, south gate, west gate to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Great I am that I am the shade of days. You are the doctor that never loses patient. My God, take over. We stand and declare, Lord, that your will be done. Your will be done. In any way, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask even now that you by your spirit sit on each gate sit on each gate and cause each gate to favor us in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you father in Jesus name amen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father, we stand here today lifting up the city of Enugu into your mighty hands. Lord, we pray for an open heaven over this city. We pray that God, you begin to move mightily upon this city, that your glory will, will be felt in every strata in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the entire southeast into your great hands. Father, we pray that you reposition the body of Christ to take his place and begin to reign and rule in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against every siege of wickedness. All the forces that have been causing bloodshed in the southeast, all the powers that have been creating terror, by the authority in the name of Jesus, we arrest you, spirits of hell. We bind you and we command your works to cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We release the spirit of revival. We release the spirit, O oh God, of your power. Let there be a mighty move of your glory in the southeast. Father, politically, O oh God, let there be a restoration. Father, economically, let there be a restoration. Father, we pray that the things that are lost will be speedily restored by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that your glory will cover the southeast as the water covers the sea. We decree and declare this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Father because we know that it is done in Jesus powerful name we pray in Jesus name our father we thank you oh God that all that they meant for evil in every life here represented Lord you turn them to blessing in the name of Jesus father I declare your name a of days that the Ammonites, the Moabites, and the people of Mansia that have come to attack in your eternal purpose, you've ordained that they will bring spoils to your people. 
And therefore, we declare and declare a season of Baraka in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I speak truthfulness, O oh God, that the seed you have planted through your servant shall bear fruit in every life. Therefore, we adjure every bird of the air. You have no right over those seeds that have been planted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, ancient of days, O Lord. For in Jesus' awesome and mighty name we are prayed. Somebody praise the Lord. I'm going to say something very sensitive. And something that will bring your mind to the reality of what governments face. I represent the governor as a senior special assistant on religious matters, which means every religion is under my authority. And I want to say something to you. The governor said Enugu State is in the hand of God, and he was very specific. But there is occult and there is cult in this state that is saying they don't want that, that God to be mentioned. We are going to pray a prayer in agreement. We have seen the reports that Nigeria has more number of firearms than Syria and Libya put together. There are firearms, and these things are being sponsored by politicians. And this meeting, while I was sitting down, the Lord said to me, this meeting in Enugu is to close the mouth of terrorism they want to bring. There are people, irrespective of political party, that have said, if they don't win an election, they will kill the youth. There are people that are going to secondary schools, going to universities, to recruit cults. And one thing with the, with the cult is that when you join the cult, you become afraid of dying. So you enter the occult. You start looking for power to fortify yourself. There are people going to, to, the, to various places in Car Street where drug dealers are to go and look for women that are addicts to buy children from them, to, to, to pound them, to use it for demonic powers. We are going to pray a prayer. Anybody that is buying arms to kill us in Enugu State, anybody that is in occult, Anybody that is contesting for anything in this state and you are coming to raise another God, God of dying, God of violence, what anything they are trying to bring, no matter the political party, whether it's PDP, whether it's Labour Party, whether wherever you are, let God destroy that person. I want this to be your prayer. In Jesus name we are afraid Lord will shut the mouth of sponsors of terrorism Lord we shut the mouth of those going to our secondary school and our universities to recruit the cult wherever they are those that have created poverty as a means as instrument of control so that the poorer the people are the more malleable they are those that have said that Christians will not have access to government. Today we dethrone them. Today we dethrone them. Anyone that is coming with an agenda to raise a deity of destruction over this land, starting from September that the electioneering period is coming, Lord, we dethrone them. Enugu State is in your hand. Whatever is in your hand cannot be taken away from you. We, the youths, have come together to say enough is enough. Those that have stolen money from the government to use it against us, today let this earth open and swallow them. In Jesus' wonder walking name we are praying. Hallelujah. Amen. I will pray about long life. Hallelujah. You can agree with me that I can do that. Because of my age and my experience. And I have brought here, it is written. How many of you remember it is written? Number one, it is written. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. It is written, 
For by me your days are multiplied. And years will be added to you. It is written, Long life is in your right hand and left hand and riches and honor. The louder amen you shout, the more you receive. Let me warn you about more it is written. It is written, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Say amen. amen. Somebody shout, it is written. It is written. Shout again, it is written. And so it is written, the fear of the Lord prolongeth your life. But the years of the wicked, the year of the wicked will be short. The wicked around you, kidnappers, uh, murderers. Yeah, yes, it will be shortened. Finally, it is written. Whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking God. Oh Lord, I stand on it is written. And I prophesy long life for your people. Anything that will bring shortness of life, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. Unugata. Unugata Kali 84. 85. 86. 87 100 Somebody shout yeah Hallelujah Please let's give them a big 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 God bless you Big God bless you Thank you Hallelujah Amen Southeast Thank you so very much Reverend Dan And your dear wife Thank you so much and the entire team of pastors, all who have made this program a reality, may the Lord honor you for every man and every woman of God here, prophet, apostle, missionary, um, whatever title or office you occupy, may the Lord bless you and honor you in the name of Jesus. And I want you to remember, please do well to get all the teachings of this conference. They are free and they are online. Pay that price to get it so that you listen to it again. May the Lord honor you. As you depart, like the fathers have spoken, let this be a new season. In the name of Jesus. That by this time next year, we will only return to rejoice over Enugu State. In Jesus' name I pray. Enugu State, South East, God bless you and I love you. Thank you. Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season 
it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 